right? This video is on two-step equations. The previous video was one step. Now we're going to combine and put two operations in one equation. <clears throat> um, Finley and Drake each write an equation below. Finley says that both equations have a solution of x equals 5. Drake says that is not true. Determine who is correct and justify your reasoning. All right, so for Finley, he's got 5x equals 25. From the previous video, that's multiplication. So to undo that, we divide. That cancels out. X equals 25 divided by 5 is 5. Now for Drake, we've got 5X plus 5 equals 25. In this sense, you do the add or subtract. First, the multiply or divide second, okay? So you're going to do the add or subtract first, and then the multiply or divide. So we're adding 5, so we're going to subtract 5. These cancel out, but we're now left with 5x instead of just x. And 25 minus 5 is 20 and then now you're back to a one-step equation to isolate that variable we're going to divide by 5 they cancel out 20 divided by 5 is 4 so drake is right because they are not the same they're not x equals 5 so drake was correct and saying that they both did not equal it. x equals 5. All right. Steps to solve two-step equations. Go ahead and highlight this because it's going to be important. But, and I'm going to start. All right. Use inverse operations to undo addition and subtraction, which is what I said. You're going to do this first. And then use inverse operations to undo multiplication and division. You're going to do that second. All right. And then you're going to solve the equation by isolating the variable. That means getting it by itself. All right. So let's look at this example that they have right here. 10x plus 15 equals 105. It says do the opposite of add or subtract first. So we're adding. So we're going to subtract. Do this right here. That should be 15 and not 10. Change that. So it's minus 15. These cancel out. And we're left with 10x on this side equals, and 105 minus 15 is 90. All right. This is multiply. To undo multiply, you divide. These cancel out. 90 divided by 10 is 9. So that's your answer. And if I plugged it in, 10 times 9 is 90 plus 15 is 105. So I know that that's correct. Use algebra tiles to solve the equation model below. So here we've got 2x. It's 2x's. And then we've got 2 positive 1. So it's 2x plus 2. E oh, we've got a model. My bad. Let me change that too. So we've got 2x. Y'all know I ain't good at drawing. So 2x. Here, this is a plus 2, so for that plus 2, we would move it over here, and it would be a minus 2, okay? So that's now going to be equal to 4 instead of 6. If this is confusing, I can explain it to you again. But if this is x plus 2, 2x plus 2, we've got to subtract 2 from over here. So really, we're just marking them out, and that leaves the 4. And then to solve that, if you got 2x 
equals 4, you're going to divide by 2. And then you're going to get 1x equals the 2. Yes, that's a little confusing, but you don't have to do as using algebra tiles is a choice. You don't have to use them. All right, let's look at this first example right here. 10 plus 3x equals 22. All right, 10 is positive because there's no sign in front of it. So we're going to minus 10. What you do to one side, you do to the other. 10 minus 10 cancels out, and you're left with 3k. And then 22 minus 10 is 12. All right, now we're back to a one-step equation, which is multiply. To undo that, you divide. 3 divided by 3 is 1. That cancels out. You're left with k equals, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. To check that, we would write our equation. We've got 10 plus 3 times 4 equals 22. And we've got 10 plus 3 times 4 is 12 equals 22. And 22 equals 22 because 10 plus 12 is 22. So we know we're right. And then equal sign, like I said before, is a closed circle with the number of 22. <clears throat> All right, here we've got 19 equals 4p minus 5. All right, so we're going to add 5 to both sides. What you do to one side, you do to the other. That cancels each other out. And then we're left with 19 plus 5 is 24. And then we're left on this side with 4p, which is multiplication. To undo multiplication, you divide. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 24 divided by 4 is 6. And that equals p. All right, so here we've got checking and solving, or checking and graphing. 19 equals 4p minus 5. So we've got 19 equals 4 times 6, because that's what P was, minus 5. So we've got 19 equals 4 times 6 is 24 minus 5. We've got 19 equals, and 24 minus 5 is 19. So that's correct. Equal sign is a low circle on six and i did that wrong this one over here should be four i did the answer instead of the number so go back and change this one to four guys i graphed the number instead of the solution all right here we've got a division and multiplication here is multiplication and addition multiplication and subtraction this was division and subtraction so for subtracting we know that we're adding 8 to both sides, what you do one side, you do to the other. A negative 8 and a positive 8 cancel each other out. And you're left with R divided by 2 equals in 16 plus 8 is 24. This is division, so now we multiply both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 cancels out. And you're left with R equals... 24 times 2 is 48. And to check that, I'm just going to plug this in because it's getting lengthy. So we've got 48, and I put 48 in place of the R. Divided by 2 minus 8 equals 16. And you 48 divided by 2 is 24. Minus 8 equals 16. 24 minus 8 is 16. 16 equals 16. Therefore, it's correct. We've got a closed circle because it's equal and it's on 48. All right, right. now we have a multiplication, another multiplication and a subtraction. All right, here we've got a minus 3, so we're going to add 3. 
negative 3 and a positive 3 cancel each other out. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 equals 2w. Multiply, so we're going to divide by 2 to isolate that variable. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that cancels out. 10 divided by 2 is 5, so 5 equals w. And then to solve that, we would put, or check it, rather, 7 equals 2 times 5 minus 3. So we've got 7 equals 2 times 5 is 10 minus 3. 7 equals 10 minus 3 is 7. And that is correct. And we're graphing 5. Close circle because it's equal and it's included. All right, we've got um, 10 problems here that we're going to do. We're not going to roll the dice. We're just going to solve them. So we're just going to solve the equations here. So I mark through this. We're not going to roll dice. We're just going to solve the problems. All right, so we'll look at number two. I am not going to solve and check. Okay, here we've got 4x minus 8 equals 32. Okay, so we're going to add 8 to both sides. Negative and a positive 8 cancel each other out. We've got 4x equals 32 plus 8 is 40. We're back to multiplication. Undo multiplication and you divide. 4 divided by 4 is 1. You get x equals 40 divided by 4 is 10. So the solution here is x equals 10. Number 3. Try to keep some kind of order taking your notes on this paper. You can't write it so big either. So we've got 6x plus 9 equals 27. So we're going to minus 9 to, from both sides. That cancels each other out. We've got 6x equals 27 minus 9 is 18. Back to a multiplication. So we're going to divide by 6. Doing the opposite, guys. x equals 18 divided by 6 is 3. Solution here is x equals 3. It's going to be plenty of examples that you can refer back to while we're doing this equation unit. Number 3 says x minus 2.7 equals 15.4. That's a little tight there, but i got to get it in. All right. So here we're going to add 2.7. We'll move this over to give me a little bit more room. These cancel out. I'm left with x equals a 15.4 plus a 2.7 is 18.1. So the answer for that one is 18.1. All right, number five. Two-thirds x plus 10, so we're going to be subtracting, equals 16. So we subtract 10. Positive 10 and negative 10 cancel each other. we got two-thirds x. 16 minus 10 is 6. Okay. This is divide, so we multiply. And if it's a fraction, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So we multiply by the reciprocal on this side as well. Cancel them out and put 6 over 1 whole numbers. So 6 times 3 is 18 and 1 times 2 is 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So for this one, I get x equals 9. Number 6. Get x over 6. Plus 2, we're adding, so we're going to be subtracting, doing the opposite, equals 16. So minus 2 
2 minus 2 cancel each other out. You're left with x divided by 6 equals 16 minus 2 is 14. You're dividing by 6, so you're going to multiply by 6. Cancel them out. x equals 14 times 6 is 84. So here your answer is x equals 84. If you do not show this work on your on your work or your assignments, I am not taking it because you have to show your work. Number seven. We've got 19 equals 5 plus 7x. That 5 is positive because it don't have a negative in front of it. So we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. 5 minus 5, that cancels each other out. 19 minus 5 is 14. And then on this other side, we're left with 7x. All right. Let's multiply, so we're going to divide. And we get that. 7 divided by 7 is 1, so that cancels out. 14 divided by 7 is 2. And then we're left over there with x. So here your answer is x equals 2. Number 8, <clears throat> x over 3 minus 14 equals 9. We've got a minus 9, I mean, excuse me, a minus 14. So we're going to plus 14. What you do to one side, you do to the other. A negative 14 and a positive 14 cancel each other out. So we're left with x over 3 equals, and 9 plus 14 it's 23. Let's divide by 3, so we're going to multiply by 3. Get the x by itself. That cancels each other out. x equals 23 times 3 is 69. So x equals 69. Number 9. 5.37 plus x equals 12.89. This is a positive 5.37, so we're going to subtract it. because We're trying to get that variable by itself. These cancel out, and on this side you're left with x, and then 12.89 minus 5.37 is 7.5. So x equals 7.52. All right, number 10. We've got 42 equals 6x minus 24. So minus 24, so we're going to add 24. They cancel each other out. 42 plus 24 is 66. And then you're left with 6x. I'm going to divide by 6. And x equals 11. 66 divided by 6 is 11. So we've got x equals 11. And then number 11. I'm going to go through here and try to separate these. So y'all know which one goes to what. And we're on 11, we got 10x plus 25 equals 50. That's a plus 25, so we're going to minus 25 from both sides. This cancels each other out. We're left with 10x equals 50 minus 25 is 25. That's 10x. Let's multiply. To undo it, we divide. So divide by 10. That cancels each other out. X equals 25 divided by 10 is 2.5. So X equals 
2.5. Okay, and then the last one is 12. We have 58 equals 7x minus 5. So if it's minus 5, we're adding 5. Negative 5 and a positive 5 cancel each other out. 58 plus 5 is 63. And on the other side, you're left with 7 and x. That's multiply. To undo multiply, you divide. 7 divided by 7 leaves that at 1x. And 63 divided by 7 is 9. So 9 equals x. And then down here, it says, use your understanding of solving equations to answer the questions below. JP was asked to place a check mark next to any equation in which x equals 7 is a true statement. <clears throat> so that first one, question number one, we've got 8x minus 15 equals, <clears throat> excuse me, 41. We're minus and 15, so we're going to add. What you do to one side, you do to the other. This side cancels out. You're left with 8x equals 41 plus 15 is 56. We're going to divide by 8. That cancels each other out because that's 1x equals 56 divided by 8 is 7 and we're looking for that so we're going to put a check by question number one number two we have 1.5x plus 4 equals 14.5 that's a plus 4 so we're going to minus 4 this cancels each other out so we've got on this side 1.5x equals and 14.5 minus 4 is 10.5. We're going to divide by 1.5. Get that x by itself. x equals 7. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to put a check by number two. All right, and we'll try to squeeze number three right here. We've got 2x plus 12 equals 2. That's a plus 12. So we're going to minus 12. And then we've got 2x. 2 minus 12. is a negative 2. We divide by 2 on both sides. That cancels out. And therefore, with x equals a negative 2 divided by a positive 2. A negative divided by a positive leaves a negative. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. And that may be a negative for either way. Not right. Even if that's a negative 2, it's going to be 10, and x would be 5. So either way, that one's not 7. All right. Each of the students below made a statement about the equation 3x minus 18 equals 27. Which students made a true statement? Hannah said the first step is to subtract 18 from both sides. I, I, I guess that's how I say that. To solve, add 18 to both sides and then divide by 3. And then Romeo said the solution is x equals 15 because 3 times 15 minus 18 equals 27. So let's look. Let's look at that problem. We've got 3x minus 18 equals 27. It's a minus 18. So we're going to plus 18. Negative 18 and positive 18 cancel each other out. But we added 18, so that's add, that's subtract. So we know Hannah's not there because we added. So we got 3x equals 27 plus 18 is 45. Okay. And we're going to divide by 3. 
3 divided by 3 cancels out. X equals 45 divided by 3 is 15. So I is right. Aaliyah, Aya, whatever it is. Just add 18 to both sides and then divide it by 3. That's what we did. So she's got a true statement. Now let's check Romeo's. So if we take 3 and we put 15 in there, minus 18, does that give us 27? 3 times 15 is 45. 45 minus 18 equals 27. 45 minus 18, I know for a fact, is 27. So 27 equals 27. So Romeo is also correct. I know you guys are going to have trouble with this, but we're going to get through it together.